country doctor by Ivan Gavrovich Kaleshkinov Viola Novinsky. <laughs> Yes, Horace, my time here has made me a different man. And why? Because I am older? Because I have traveled and loved and lost that love? No, because of the dignity of hard work. To stand here today, that is every man's dream. And I believe in 100 years, every man will work, will work for that self-same dream. And perhaps then they will know the clarity you and I have achieved from our years of toil. Do you remember, Boris, when we weeded the garden with our bare hands, or when we carried the kicking mule from here to Yaniv? That was work. <laughs> or when we poked the ceiling with the broom handle until that dead raccoon fell out? That, <laughs> that was also work. And to the studious mind, work is its own reward, which is not to say we have not taken our vulgar reward as well. Yes, I am drunk, Boris, but that is only my reward for my years of scorching, bitter toil. Like when we toasted the end of the cherry season, or the professor's newest theorem, or the birth of Natalia's fourth daughter. Actually, yeah, now that I think about it, we have spent most of our time sitting and drinking on this couch. <laughs> ordering food for delivery. Waiting on care packages for my parents. <laughs> buying that skateboard I never used. <laughs> oh my God, oh Jesus God. Oh wow, what an expensive way to goof off for four years. <laughs> took a lot of naps and smoked from my pipe. <laughs> my colleagues have mastered the maths and sciences and geographies, and I just occasionally talked a lot. <laughs> and did this at parties. <laughs> Whatever. Existence is tedious anyway, and it goes heavily. Look, look at my, my long mustache, Boris. My long, long mustache. None of my colleagues have grown a mustache or a beard this grand. Go ahead, go and touch it, Boris. Reach out, touch my long beard with your fingers. Fondle it with your fingers, Boris. You could, you could soak up a big old spill with a beard like this one, Boris. Whatever, shut up, Boris. Shut up. So I leave my time in these hallowed halls with little to no practical life experience. <laughs> I still have my giant beard, and I've learned how to do this. <laughs>